Welcome. So what I'm going to do um, is show you how to apply the transformation given a transform um, translation, sorry, provide the translation given the translation vector of negative 2, 1. And um, I graphed uh, the figure up here based on the coordinates that were provided. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform this in a vector of negative 2, 1. Now, if I was going to use the origin here, um, you could see that negative 2, 1 is negative 2 up 1. And so basically, what I'm going to be doing is, in the red direction of where this vector is, I'm going to apply this vector to each one of these coordinate points. So if I kind of went like, if I went to 1, 2 units, up 1, that's going to be my new vector. If I go over 2, up 1, that's my new C vector. And from A, if I go over 2, up 1, that is my new A vector. So all I pretty much am doing is I'm applying what the transformation vector is, and I'm applying that to each and every point. And when I find the new point, what I want to simply do is label that as C prime, A prime, and B prime. And now I can just connect all of these. And now I have applied my translation given my transformation vector. Um, a lot of times, though, we also want to know what are the new coordinates of our new image. So what I'm simply going to do is s apply the operation of my transformation vector. So simply just add your vector to your points. So 6 plus negative 2, so a prime, 6 plus negative 2 is 4, comma, 4. And let's double check that. Is that where that's at? 1, 2, 3, 4, up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, you can see it's right there. Um, b prime is going to be 2, comma, negative 1. 1, 2, negative 1. Very good. And then C prime is going to be at negative 2, 5. And you can see negative 2 up 5. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you apply your translation vector to, for the translation. Thanks.